I'm here in Medjugorje. I'm with father. Where are you from? Uh, well, I'm from Ireland. And what's your name? So I'm Father Jamie. Uh -huh. And Father, how often have you been in, in Medjugorje? I think this is my 26th trip now. Wow. Yeah. Why do you come back? Uh, yeah, it's just, well, I had my initial conversion here, and it's just a place of great peace mm -hmm. and love. Our Lady School of Love. Mm -hmm. And you said you, you had your, your conversion or you found your vocation here. Can you describe the process? Because there are a lot of people, I live quite a while here, they ask, they want to find their vocation. What would you tell them? You found it here. Yeah, I just say come out here, mm -hmm. uh, open your heart mm -hmm. to Our Lady, mm -hmm. uh, her love for you, allow her to lead you mm -hmm. more and more to Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, you know, wherever you are in your life, if you allow that to happen, mm -hmm. you know, you'll be in God's plan for your life. Mm -hmm. You can do that everywhere. You don't even have to be in Medjugorje, you know. You yeah. can open your heart, ask God. Oh, I know. Yeah? Yeah, here definitely helps, so though. Why does it help here? Can you describe the process? Why, why, well, why? Our Lady's presence here, the prayer here, mm -hmm. the atmosphere of community here is beautiful. Mm -hmm. You hear the noises around us, joyful people, no? Yeah, isn't it? Isn't yes. It? Yeah. And um, how, did you know, how did you personally know that you should become a priest? Um, Yeah, it's just it's a call from the Lord. It's mm -hmm. a consistent call. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. Gentle call. Mm -hmm. uh, so just a new, beautiful he was calling. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. made like bling bling like right now. He goes bling bling in your mind. No, yeah. think about it again. Yeah. Beautiful. And a happiness towards the priesthood as well. Yes, that's yeah. what it is about. It's not a sacrifice. You will be joyful. You will be oh, happy. Yeah. No. Whatever Con the Lord's plan for your life yeah. is. It's peace and joy, you will be yeah. enthusiastic, no? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. They, they, people misunderstand, I think, the process. Yeah. They, they will be fulfilled, they will be in their element, yeah. in the best they can be, you know, True. God wants you to be, no? Yeah. You pray the rosary? Oh yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, pray, I pray the rosary because I, yeah, I just need it. It's like holding our lady's hand. Mm -hmm. I need to hold her hand throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Just keep Beautiful. Me, keep you going. Because keep me safe and protected and... Yeah. Yeah. We need to Beautiful. We need her so much. And what would you tell people? You know, co confession is very, very central here. Maybe somebody's watching now and they say, "My God, I didn't go for 20 years. Yeah. What will the father, father, your name, will think of me oh, if yeah, I tell father him all oh, what the heck yeah. I, Father Jamie, think of me yeah. for all the heck what I did? Yeah. What would yeah. you tell them? Oh no, I'd say like you know, not to be afraid. Mm -hmm. It's the most beautiful thing. I know myself from being the one going to confession. Mm -hmm. It's so freeing, but also being the one hearing confession. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's just an encounter with the Lord. There's no judgment. You know, he just loves you. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Because like, I think a lot of people think God the Father is an old man with a white beard, very angry, and he wants yeah. to put us to hell. Yeah. And he's not Isn't like that. It? How is he? How is the real God? Oh, he's just... Uh, yeah, God Father. Yeah, How is he? Yeah, he's just love and mercy. Yeah. It's just all... You know, scripture says... Mm -hmm. uh, kind and full of compassion, mm -hmm. slow to anger, rich in mercy. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord is. That's what He is exactly. And what did Jesus do in your life? Can you describe a bit the process? How you changed on your way? In? Changed, yeah. Um, I suppose, like, yeah. I describe it as just being in in a pit and not being able to get out by myself. Mm -hmm. And Jesus reaching His hand into the pit and lifting me out. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get out by myself, and yeah. no other. Me too. Yeah. And no other thing could bring me out, only Jesus. Mm -hmm. So it's like the Psalm says, you know, it's Psalm 40. Mm -hmm. I waited patiently for the Lord. Mm -hmm. He heard my cry. He brought me up out of the pit, and He put a new song into my heart. Beautiful. Yeah. That's what it is, no? Isn't it? And we all have been in the pit. Somebody who's watching yeah. now, you know, yeah, exactly. who is in distress, despair. Yeah. We all have been, and he's yeah. a priest now. Look. Oh yeah. Only Jesus has the power to lift you out of the pit. Yeah. To lift us all out. And we can all find ourselves in the pit, mm -hmm. you know, when we're left to our own devices. Yeah. So there's no judgment, but Jesus has the power to lift us out. Yeah. Pure love. No selfless love. Yeah. Isn't it? Unbelievable. Yeah. And um, what do you like most about Medjugorje personally, Father? Oh, um, I like most about Medjugorje. Yeah, hard to describe. What I like most is just when you arrive, mm -hmm. like, you know, you think you've all these problems, which you do, mm -hmm. but it's this sense that our lady just has you 
like that you're enveloped by her peace when you're here mm -hmm. and you know she captivates okay, you. I have all yeah. these problems and whatever mm -hmm. but she is greater and her love is greater and you get a sense that like yeah everything's under control mm -hmm. and everything's going to be okay mm -hmm. it's the atmosphere how would you describe somebody who hasn't been here atmosphere it's the atmosphere of or? peace but yeah, yeah it's even more like it's it's peace that the world can't give mm -hmm. actually someone described it mm -hmm. it's an atmosphere of the atmosphere here is our lady's love for mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's actually the atmosphere. It's oh. her love for Jesus is the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And she draws you into that love. Mm -hmm. And what would you tell, like, I, I have a lot of Protestant viewers and they're like, oh, you're worshipping Our Lady. And it's not like that. Can you describe a bit what the role of Our Lady is in our country? Yeah. Yeah? Our Lady, uh, she loves Jesus with the most perfect heart. Yeah. Um, nobody has loved Jesus ever like her because her heart is free from all sin. Mm -hmm. um, so she loves perfectly. She loves him intensely. Mm -hmm. So devotion to her, love for her, draws us. She invites us into her heart of love for Jesus. So we get to share a little bit in that intensity of love mm -hmm. for Jesus that she has so you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful gift. Yeah, absolutely it is. And um, and she's our mother. She's our mother, exactly, you know. Yeah. This is unbelievable. And can you describe a bit now, you have the chance to describe, what is the beauty of our Catholic faith? The beauty of our faith, well, you know, the center of our faith is, is, is the Eucharist. Yeah. It's the source and summit of the Church's life. You know, I'm a priest. Mm -hmm. I'm frail. I'm sinful. Tonight, I'm tonight. I'm tired, and I can probably snap at people. Thank you, Father, that you need. Yeah, that uh, you still do the interview. But you know, I am like I'm all these things. Mm -hmm. But uh, and uh, like you know, so the church is made up of sinners. Yeah, and me too. And yeah. you know, sinners and people who are weak and all that. But the thing that makes the church beautiful and holy is that Jesus is at the center. Uh, his Eucharistic presence is the beating heart. Mm -hmm. If it was purely human, if the church was purely human, it wouldn't have lasted five minutes. Yeah. But it's not human, it's it's divine. Mm -hmm. And it's a beating heart of love at the center of it. Mm -hmm. It's Jesus' beating heart of love in the Eucharist. That's the center of it. Beautiful. And then they end maybe... Explain somebody why you are Catholic priest. What is so beautiful about the priesthood? Yeah, it's the heart of Jesus mm -hmm. is the priesthood. You know, uh, like we are called um, in persona Christi. So we act in his person, mm -hmm. which is like amazing. And I've, I've witnessed it, like, you know, where it's like we... Yeah, like, you know, where you're chatting to someone or, or and maybe someone's telling you a difficult problem mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you feel an amazing love for them mm -hmm. and it's not your own love, it's Jesus' love for them. Yeah. Uh, that's the priesthood, like, it's that Jesus loves through us. Uh, the sacraments, mm -hmm. I can't turn uh, bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus, but Jesus can, so he, he works through his priests. I can't forgive anyone's sins by myself, by mm -hmm. my own power, but Jesus can. So Jesus works through his priests, you know, weak and sinful as we are. Mm -hmm. It's the beauty of the priesthood. Yeah, beautiful. Jesus uses our frail humanity to continue his His mission. Yeah. And at the end, what would you tell people why to come to Medjugorje one time? Oh, come here to experience the love that Our Lady has for you and to allow her to lead her more and more into... allow to lead you more and more into the love that Jesus has for you. Yeah, unbelievable. You want to give a blessing at the end for yeah. the viewers? So we just ask Almighty God now to bless you all. And Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And you Amen. see what the priest does. He, he's tired and he gave the interview. You know? we, we all have to pray for our priest. Yeah. Thank you so okay. much for that interview. Oh, no problem.